Austin Omahe rejects President Buhari's appointment. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. After President Mohamed Buhari appointed Austin Omahi as the Secretary to Revenue Mobilization Application and Physical Commission R R M A F C, he has rejected the appointment. According to Austin Omahi, he said that the appointment is only good for job seekers or retired civil servants, but not for someone for of someone for his social status. However, he publicly called on anyone who is interested in the appointment to contact his elder brother. The Edinburgh State Governor Dave Omahi, because the position is still vacant. He also thanked everyone who congratulated him on the appointment for the numerous calls and messages. He said that his age and one can experience, he knows what he wants in life. In his own words, he said, Please, if you are interested in the position, do not hesitate to approach our indefatigable governor to do the needful because, as far as I'm concerned, the position is still vacant. Thanks. And God bless. I know, I beg, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, people will see this the wrong way, and sincerely, I go want to hear word for word because I know how news people can, you know, can news people can take the statement. If you don't read the statement well, the statement is sounding arrogant. Make will know word for word within in talk and how his disposition was. Uh, when he's saying it, we'd like to see a video so that we can see his, his, his actions and his body movement when he was turning the appointment down. It must not the way it is being reported. Okay. I beg, what is his status? He should have stated clearly he doesn't be part, he doesn't want to be part of this messed up preaching. Hmm? Okay. Yes, that would have cleared him as an honest man, but the statement show how arrogant he is. I'm telling you. But, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, well, that is why I'm insisting that um, a video, if there's a video sharing where he said he turned it down, I want to believe he would not have turned it down in this manner. Of course, there's no way. Okay. Um... In my opinion, he is not arrogant. It's just a demonstration of his displeasure on this administration, and he doesn't want to be part of this field administration. Mm. Okay, that is your opinion. The man did not reject the job because of a bad regime of Bible, because the job is not up to his level. Please, learn how to read before commenting. The man is simply proud and arrogant. He's supposed to take what is a believer and come prove his worth before something better and bigger will come. He has just submitted himself thinking he has done anything to the president. Well, I repeat, I would want to see a video. I would like or search for this video of how he turned down the appointment because I don't want to believe that it is how it is reported that it, 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 it was done. You understand? But if it is so, then it is wrong. If it is so, it is wrong. But if this is not how he rejected it, if he turned it down, that's how you turn things down respectfully without anybody seeing that, oh, you know, you understand. Okay, and um, permit me to say, um, permit me to say, is his line, first of all? Is his line? That place we didn't give him that minister or something because we are fond of appointing anyone, you know, uh, something struck. Immediately I heard that he was actually related to the Boeing state governor. When I saw Omar here, I was like, okay, people can be Omar here then. I said that it was actually the Omahe of, you know, Mr. Dave Sumahe. That is um, uh, the boy state governor who was related. And deep down in my mind, I was like, are you sure he was not even lobbied for the appointment? This is what happens when you lobby people in appointment. You understand? Without these people even knowing, you just lobby them for appointment. Maybe number one, this is these are the few reasons why he might have turned it down. I mean, number one, maybe it's not even his line. You know, he, he does not even know what to do there. Because if Nami come appoint me Minister of Foreign Affairs, I don't know anything. You understand? Maybe I don't even know. Maybe he's not in that line. Number two, maybe he, maybe he's actually maybe busy at the moment. Maybe he has something he's working on. Maybe he's working on a project. And that project, is he has not stayed for a very long time. He wants to see that project grow. So there are various many reasons. But if I watch that video, and after I watch that video, Gofi talks to whether maybe he's arrogant or not. But I don't want to believe that the way he turned it down is here, as reported, is actually the way. No, no. It is going to be very, um, it, it is disrespectful if it's in that manner. Okay. 
Keep quiet, you're the one that is not reading. You want to include his respected name in the video. <laughs> oh my god. Don't you know who he is? A younger brother to the governor and a former People Democratic Party vice chairman South S. He's not hungry. That is why he said it is not befitting for him. But wants you to come to take the bus since you're always on social media and unemployed. Now, wow. Well, I just want to believe that you want to be his media handler. I wish you good luck. Okay. He cannot be what you think. No right thinking person will join a finishing evil and be part of it. His other brother is still there to appoint or nominate another person. Like I said, it might be that this appointment was even lobbied for him. Like he does not even show interest. You understand? He just won't give him that one. You understand? But Uncle said he's not having it. So, okay. Hmm. No revenue to mobilize again now. Nah. When the expenditure is more than revenue under Buhari, you only get his own egunje. The guy raising word, Jerry. Now, what for now? Kai. You are the one that did not go to school, better still. Okay, think you're replying to someone. That is a woman for you when they collab the system. They start looking for more experience and to come and do magic nonsense. Mm -hmm. hmm. Forget that stuff, my friend. When the woman, but that's where we go see job, there ain't no go rush there. But this one, don't do him calculation. Make you not be saying that him head, then go take break or go last last. So, yeah, it might be. It might not be. But me, I'm saying two things are involved. If I have a baby project, some somebody like me, eh, I maybe I've started working on something. Maybe I have something I've been wanting to do all my life. I have maybe this business I've been having on my mind. And I finally have the chance to do it. I now have the little resources to start it up. And I started nursing it. Uncle, if I am... One year, six months into it, you come to me, even two months into it. I will tell you that I am occupied. There is no way. And you might tell me, oh, this one is not giving you anything enough. And I will say, no, this is my baby project. That is number one. Number two, maybe that, like I said before, he is not even fit for that particular position. Maybe he has looked at himself, you know, for him to now start learning. Yes, then they will tell you you can learn on the job. I cannot. I don't, I'm not fit for here. I don't want to stay here. I like where I am. You understand? Maybe he wants something that is along his line. So this and more reason might be the reasons why he turned it down. Okay. Um, the man. This man, God bless you. I can really see that you're not a hungry man. <laughs> you can never be hungry. Well, a lot of people are saying, okay, he turned it down because he does not want to be a part of the evil regime. That might be the reason. But a lot of people are saying, okay, he turned it down because it's not befitting for him. You understand? But at the end of the day, last, last, not only him and in God know why he turned him down. But sincerely, I would like to watch the video. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.